Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Brian Gosson. Please stand for Pledge Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. Let's go to Annalisa to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vani. Today in history on May 5th, 1961, Alan Shepard became the first American in space when the Freedom 7 spacecraft blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Fast forward in this amazing astronaut's life, and on February 5, 1971, Alan Shepard, the first American in space, became the fifth astronaut to walk on the moon as part of the Apollo 14 lunar landing mission. Alan Shepard was truly a brave American hero. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. The U.S. women's soccer team celebrates a second World Cup victory. The U.S. women's national soccer team's quest for the 2019 FIFA World Cup began on June 11, 2019, with a resounding 13-point win over Thailand. In addition to being the largest margin of victory ever in a Women's World Cup match, the score also set a record for the most goals in, the, in a single World Cup game for both men and women. The team's incredible journey ended almost a month later on July 7, 2019, with a thrilling victory against the Netherlands. The victory did not come easily, but the team didn't give up and ended up winning their second World Cup. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey salami and cheese sandwich, romaine salad, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced peaches, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Teachers, it was awesome seeing you in your New Jersey Shore outfits yesterday. Today's look is Miami sports and tomorrow is Caribbean theme. We look forward to seeing your chill ocean vibes. Now to see what the weather's gonna be like today with David. Thank you, Vonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 92 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like summer weather. Let's hope it doesn't get to desert weather. Now let's go to someone for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. What do you call a grandfather clock? An old timer. Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthdays. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boys and girls are Natalia Lape. Amara Smathers, Amari Jackson, and our very own RPTV teammate, Aiden Milholm Russell. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vonnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations are present. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Calabrese, Miss Kane, and Miss Ian Duanqua. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was. George, Helen, and Steve are all drinking coffee. Bert, Karen, and Dave are all drinking Pepsi. Is Elizabeth drinking coffee or Pepsi? The correct answer to the riddle was coffee. All of the people drinking coffee have two letter E's in their name like Elizabeth. Now for today's riddle. What is so delicate that saying its name breaks it? Again. What is so delicate that saying its name breaks it? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!